Good morning world. Welcome back to our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. Good morning Bumblebee. Good morning Bumblebee. <laughs> We're here in the northwest of Mongolia and we camped last night out on the Mongolian steppe. Check this out around us. It was such a peaceful, quiet, nice camp last night. I think we had the best sleep in days. It was so comfortable. We could have slept here forever. But we have to move on because we are on a mission to reach the Russian border. But we've kind of run out of paved road now. So yesterday we started this super difficult dirt track. Okay, so we seem to have lost the track. <sighs> we fell over. This day is just going from bad to worse. We still have a lot more of that to come. So let me show you guys the route for today. So we are here and our mission is to continue down this dirt road to get to the town of Hovd, where we'll join up with a tarmac road that heads northwest. And we're trying to get as close as we can to the border which is here. So maybe Olgi, and if we do really well, Sangonur. I'm really not excited about it because yesterday we dropped the bike already three times. Very sorry, Bumblebee. Plus I hurt my ribs. But we have to do it. It's about 100 miles on this dirt track and then it's about 180 miles on Tarmac Road to reach the Russian border. We don't know exactly how far we can get today, but we will try our best. It's already 8.40 and we still have to pick up everything. So better hit the road, let's go. Wow, look at this eagle. <sighs> Amazing. I'm just gonna go to the top of this hill, give you guys a view of what is around this area. I can tell you, it's pretty spectacular. Check this out. <sighs> Pretty cool spot to camp, eh? A little camping spot down there. This morning we were passed by a huge goat herd here. There were cows over there. It's a pretty magical scene. Look, I think it's a horse or a cow's hoof. <coughs> Chrissy. All right, ready to take on this dirt road? <laughs> Kinda. Kind of. Kind of not. But it's got to be done. If we break the bike, it's game over. Yeah, yeah, look what we did to the crash bar yesterday. Here, totally bent it back. Gonna have to have that welded when we get to Kazakhstan. Better the crash bar than the chassis though, hey? <sighs> this, your gear? Yes. Gear, your? Yeah, your? Yeah. So these kids just came to say hello to us this morning before we left. Yeah. Wish us well on the dirt road. Okay, ready? Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so cute. I wish I would have some chocolate or something, but we don't have anything. <laughs> we don't have anything. All right, so here is our road that we're going to be following. Where is the best part of it? Nowhere, really. Nowhere. Probably this one, hey? Yeah. This one or maybe here. even on the grass here. <laughs> <laughs> GPS says it's going to be 75 miles down here to reach the town of Hovd. And at the town of Hovd, there is a paved road waiting for us. Yes! But it's gonna take us a little while to get there. Yesterday we pushed up to about 30 miles an hour, but we also fell off many times. So today I think we're gonna go a little bit slower, maybe up to 20 miles an hour. Yeah. Just to keep it safe because there are many patches of sand on this road and it is really soft. So 20 miles an hour, it's gonna take us probably three to four hours to reach the town of Hovd. I think as well the handling of the bike is different now because we have new panniers and there are 
definitely heavier than our old panniers. Yeah, and we also filled up the fuel as well. So we're basically at the maximum possible weight right now. Yeah, and this is actually not what you want when you hit the dirt road. No. You want to be as light as possible. <laughs> Yeah. And I think I had as well a lot of food recently. You're at the maximum weight now, hey? Anyway, we'll just take it nice and easy. I think the priority today is not to fall off. Yes. Like yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, Bumblebee. It seems to be two different ways. Do you think they're different? I'm unsure. I'm unsure too. You see, this road goes up there. I can see it on the hill. But this road is a completely different road. Oh. So can you check on Maps Me? Yeah. At the moment, we are not really on the road. Yeah, it's not a very defined road, this road. It's just kind of one track goes off that way, one track goes off that way. You kind of have to guess which one is... The right way? The right way, yeah, yes. I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's just go with this one here for now and see how it goes, hey? So apparently the road we're on is actually not the road that's on Google or Maps Me. It looks like we're supposed to be really about a mile over to the right here, but this track is sort of heading in the same direction. So I don't know, I think we'll just carry on down this track and yeah. sort of hope they link up a bit later. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a reasonable track. Yeah, exactly. The road is good enough that we said, okay, let's stay on here for now there are just so many tracks and we have no idea which one is the right one <laughs> <laughs> i think that the locals just do it like okay i'm going to head over to that mountain and then i'm going to go to the left of it and then i'm going to head to that mountain and they don't really think about specific roads specific tracks no it's just like go wherever you want which is normally really cool eh? it's cool until you get stuck in the sand that's what <laughs> i'm worried about yes keep right in <laughs> 200 meters yeah. take the middle of 20 tracks <laughs> in 500 meters oh man look there's some horses oh yeah it's nice good morning guys they know where they're going <laughs> maybe let's ask them hey there it is the main road it doesn't look on maps me that we're on the main road just yet maybe yes maybe not I have no idea. Oh well, still heading in the right direction? Um, yep. Yep, good enough. <laughs> no one knows which one is the main road. Coming up to a huge herd of sheep and goats. Whoa. Hello guys. <laughs> oh Hello. my god, they're all running. Look at their tails. Yeah. Wow, yeah, they have big fat tails. Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, they, they're all thinking, let's go that way. Yes, be careful, there's a little one coming. Yep, yep. Run, 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 run! <laughs> Come on, stay together, guys. <laughs> Keep together. Oh, there are some goats in between as well. <laughs> yeah. Cute! Is he waving for us? I don't know. Yeah, partly. Oh. I will just ask. Hello! Oh, England. England. Yes. Go to Hovd. Ah, Hovd. You go. Ulangom. Ulangom. This way. Yeah. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Ulangom. Yeah, just. Thank you. Yeah, continue. Continue, continue, continue. <laughs> I think they were just wondering if they were going the right way. Anyway. We made it to the main road. Woo! Yeah, it's not really a main road though, is it? Look, yeah. it just looks the same. 90 kilometers to go. All right. This road is worse than the one we were just on. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. I can't believe it. And now for the next 90 kilometers, <laughs> we have to put it along here. Oh. What we were on before was at least a little bit more graveled and hard packed than this. It's just a cut out track. Yeah, it's really soft. But I think this is the reason that the guys ask us like, which way, which way? Because they just can't believe that this is the main road, you know? But anyway, <laughs> it's an adventure, hey? Oh yeah. Mamma mia.
Okay, so we are 26 miles in now and it's pretty slow going, it's pretty tough going. Already time for a break. Yeah, I think we've been going about an hour and a half, so pretty slow progress. So we're just gonna eat something now. Prepare ourselves mentally for the next three or four hours. Mm. Woo! <laughs> so we just checked over the bike and we saw already that our mud guard is loose so we don't really have a spare screw for it but we have cable ties but otherwise bumblebee looks fine everything holding together just about we have some cable ties here here some it looks actually that there's some rain coming over there you can see it looks quite dark it's not gonna hit us it's not gonna hit us It'll be fine. Some positive words from Oli. So somebody told me, go through it twice if you can. And then it holds better. So I'll follow his advice. Okay, yeah, looks good. Let's see how the cable tie <laughs> will hold. <gasps> Our first fall of the day. Ow. Hello. Hi. Yep. Okay, three, two, one. Got to put the stand down. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Irtha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. Oh, yeah. We swap bike. You this one, we this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let me get out of here. Okay, that looks good. Thank you, bye bye. There's always somebody to help us, isn't there? Amazing. But like you said yesterday, these Moscow Moto panniers just make the whole process so much quicker and easier because we can just like one, two, three, and the bike is totally clear and then we can just yeah. Anyway, that was a very, very slow fall in soft sand, so we didn't get hurt and Bumblebee didn't get any more damage, so that's good. Fall number one of the day, hey? All right. Let's see if we can follow him and, and his tracks, you know? Follow his line, hey? <laughs> 29 miles down, probably about... 45 to go. Oh man. We were holding it for a while. We were like, no, don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. Yeah. You know, I was having my foot down and I was pushing against it, but just couldn't hold it. Oh, it's too heavy. Once this bike starts to tip, there's no way we have enough strength to stop it. Not oh. with all the gear on, you know. Game over. Yeah, game over. Here is pretty soft as well, though. Oh God. <sighs> Don't go, yeah, go more in the middle bit. It's actually not too soft here in the middle bit. Terrible corrugation now. Oh my God, this road just gets from bad to worse. Seriously. <sighs> Look how much we're shaking around. Yeah. Oh my God. It's like whether it's deep sand or you've got some grip, but it's just shaking the whole bike loose. It's not easy. <laughs> not easy. 
but the closer I get to the edge like the softer it gets as well so yeah. it's like you have to choose between shaky or slidey uh, um, like a like a spanner uh, maybe a phone phone <laughs> hello Lexus. Lexus. Okay. Lexus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or the water. Yeah, yeah, the water. Uh -huh. My car. Lexus. Ah, you, wow. your car. Ah, wow, uh -huh. my car. Uh -huh. Glue. 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 <laughs> yeah, and what about the silver tape? This one, this one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is uh, gl glue. Uh, super glue. Uh, yeah? So you can see it's just a crack here. He's here trying to super glue it. Okay. But I don't know if super glue is going to do it. He could put tape around it. You from? Uh, England. England. England, yes. You go, uh, Ulangom? Ulangom. Ulangom. Hoved yeah, we we hoved. Oh, yeah. yeah, hoved. Yeah. Hot water. Hot water. Yeah. There's a car coming. Yeah. Maybe they have something better. Oh my. God. Yeah. Hello. 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 Yes, by motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you from? I'm from Hoft. Oh, from Hoft. Okay, we're going to Hoft now. Yeah. It's dirt road all the way to Hoft. No, 45 kilometers is the good road. Yes. Yeah. After is yeah. paved. Yes. Ah. Oh. So you bought some better stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just had this and this. Uh, uh, bridge. Okay. Bridge is good. Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Almost, Almost done. done. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, yeah. See you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> so in other news, our cable tie solution didn't work. So Lavi decided just taking off the mud guy completely for now until we can get a better screw in it. Yeah. We've only done 10 miles <laughs> since we stopped. <laughs> Okay, so we just stopped because I heard like a kind of noise and this whole area here is kind of wet with oil. There's oil all in here. It looks like there's a valve here and there's oil coming out of this valve. I don't know why this stuff is coming out there. Yeah, I don't know why stuff is coming out there. We have the contact of the guy who rebuilt our suspension. Later on, we can send a message over and just say that oil is coming out of the top of the suspension this time. Because yeah. last time we had a suspension issue, oil was coming out the bottom. Now it seems to be coming out the top, so yeah. I've no idea what that means. But anyway, we'll, uh, we'll send him a message later. Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! Duh! And it's seriously. Look at it! Oh, oh, oh you hurt my neck! Oh. You hurt your neck? You hurt my neck! Oh, because you landed on my head. No! No! I fell off my shoe. Your shoe fell off. We can't get out of the panniers properly. It's probably just the oil falling onto the exhaust oh, okay. and saying some smoke is coming out. This just became so sandy. Just, just hang on, I'll help. I'm done. I'm really like, I'm done. It's okay, I can do it. If you just press the thing, three, two, one. Ah, 
Oh, this is stuck. I can't use this shoulder properly. Okay, we're gonna have to just lift it with it. Ready? We're gonna try. Three, two, one, go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I'm Three, two, one, go. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's upright again. Foot pedal's still on. What's going on with this one? Let me try put uh it must have just been locked in. Oh, look how sandy this is. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous really. It's just really, really, really annoying because we can see some oil is coming out from the suspension. Then we can hear a noise all the time like a book. Just rattling, hey. I think the whole bike is just is just rattling itself apart. And then we drop it all the time as well, you know? It's just not good, you know? It's not good. Maybe here. Okay. So many tires that have been absolutely destroyed on this road. Yeah. We've probably passed by like 20 tires. Left, right. Left. Oh. We were falling on the first day, we will fall on the last day, hey? Yeah, apparently so. This really is the worst, the worst conditions for our bike that you can get. Super shaky and super sandy. Yeah. I can see a river down below. Okay. Yes. So I don't know, we'll see when we get down there, but fingers crossed, that is the end of the dirt road down there. Okay, the bridge is just over there. Please be paved, please be paved, please be paved. I don't think me or the bike can take much more of this, to be <laughs> honest. 51 miles we've done today, and it's taken us four and a half hours. <sighs> oh my God. Okay, so. Tamag! Oh my God. <gasps> What a difference, hey, what a difference. This beautiful river here with the beautiful mountains. Finally, I can look around and take in this incredible landscape. Look ahead, it looks paved. Awesome. No way. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just got to stop for a minute. Yeah, let's, let's chill out for a minute, for sure. I just want to stop. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Oh, that was really, really hard 50 miles. Okay, so after a little break, we've decided that we are gonna try and make it to the city of Ulgi because there we have spotted that they have a pizza place. That was the main motivation for us actually to go all the way there. Big pizza it calls. <laughs> it's still three hours away but it's going to be worth it to get there and then when we're there we can also take a room and uh, that means we can have a proper bed and we can have a really good rest tonight and it also means that we'll be close enough that we can go to the border to Russia tomorrow because Ulgi is one hour from the border so that'll put us in a really good place to be able to cross tomorrow morning. <laughs> It was 
the other way around. Wow. <laughs> Everything's so much nicer when you're looking at it from a paved road. Oh, totally. I mean, it's a terrible paved road, but at least it's yes. better than a dirt road. This road is so amazing. It's like totally brand new. It might be incredibly windy, but at least it's smooth. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, sometimes you can still see the old tracks here on the side of the road. And man, that looks sandy. Oh my god, I'm so glad that this is paved. <laughs> it's time to enjoy the views. <laughs> well, look at that. It's raining ahead. As if we didn't need anything else today, now we're going to put all our rain stuff on and prepare for a wet end to the day. Uh, Oli. Naursbuk. Naursbuk. Nein. Lavi. England. Germany. Oh, Mongolia. And um, Brukt. Wow. It's got an eagle here. That's yeah. insane. Oh, God, yes. Wow. What's its name? Brukt. 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 Hello, Brukt. Brukt. Hello, hello. Hello, hello Brukt. Wow. That's incredible. Ulgi. Ulgi. Yes. Yeah, you? Togbo. Togbo. Ah, uh, Tni. Here? Yes. Wow. But here it's cold, no? Yes. It's snow. Okay. Uh -huh. Whoa. Okay. You're in the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Wow, that's crazy. I do with yours. <laughs> Three, two, one. Cool! That's awesome! Wow, that's okay. great! One, two, three! Wow, amazing! What a beautiful creature, oh. hey? He ca catching um, uh, marmot? Mouse! 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 mouse. He, mouse. he catching mouse. mouse! Wow! One, two, three eagle! You have three eagles? Yes! Wow! Even three mouse! Oh, it's beautiful! Suzuki! Oh. Suzuki! Suzuki! Oh. Suzuki! Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> ah! Thank you! Bye! Bye bye! Wow! Incredible! Yes, we made it to the petrol station. Uh, Apparently, we had only 19 miles left in the tank. 92. Yeah. Kacha. Kacha. Kacha? Yeah, yeah. Full, full. Full, full, full. Mongolia. Mongolia. Lombatar. Ulan Ubay. Ulan Batar. Here. Russia. Kazakhstan. 17 liters 80 yeah, out yeah. of 20 liters. Yeah. Just 2 liters 20 left in the tank. Is that guy from that petrol station? <laughs> <laughs> Are you from there? Yeah, yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh yes. Wow. It's pizza time, baby. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. It is quite wet outside, so we are really enjoying it in here. They've got heating on. Yes. Got a giant pizza. <laughs> the life is good again. It was really tough, but now I'm happy here. Five minutes later. <sighs> I am stuffed. 
So we've just had a look on Google Maps and there's a couple of hotels which are about five minute ride just around the corner. So we're gonna check them out and hope that they're not too expensive and hopefully find a nice room for tonight. guys we made it i have been alive Ooh. what a day <laughs> what a long day oh my god and i thought already we did improve a lot on dirt roads after all this riding yeah you yeah. know you hit sand and you were down still down still down straight away mm -hmm. we fell over loads of times i'm just glad that we actually got one of them on camera <laughs> <laughs> we fell over yesterday, we fell over today a ton of times. Yes. And the whole time I was like, when are we going to fall over when I'm recording? And then we did, and I was like, yay. <laughs> and I'm really, really sad with Bumblebee that the suspension seems to be gone. It is starting to get a bit bouncy, exactly yeah. like what happened before. I think the same issue is starting to happen again. I think we've broken our suspension again. We're going to email the guy who... Uh, repaired the suspension. We'll see if he's got any advice for us on that. But one thing is good, the Moscow Moto panniers, they're still standing after quite a few falls. Yes, yeah, and they're really easy to remove if you fall. So I'm really happy about that actually. <laughs> yeah, we also decided that we're gonna take a day off tomorrow. So much riding recently. And then with the last two days, how difficult it was to actually get here to the end of Mongolia. Yeah, we just need one day of rest before we carry on. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.